everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome to Colour and Catch Up. Uh, we're going to try and finish Hamish today. We only have the sky and the rest of the grass to do with the clouds and I've noticed I've forgotten to do the stems. I'm not going to do the border, I'll do that later when I feel up to it. I just want to finish the main picture because um, obviously Christmas is fast approaching. I've got several whips I'm trying to finish as well at the same time before we hit December the 1st because from de December the 1st I will only be colouring Christmas pictures. So let us crack on. So this is as far as I can zoom in today because I've got the camera in a different place. Um, so I'll be moving the book more than I'll be moving the camera. So I'm just going to go in Excuse me, sniffling. And uh, we're just going to colour in the little rose stems now while I remember that they're there. Because I forgot, and there's even a little rose I've missed on this one. So I'll just get a red out and we'll just fill that one in. Not very good, is it? Honestly, it is one of those things that though is that you you colour in so much and you do you will miss bits. And I found another one I haven't done. <laughs> I was like, and come on, there's another one. I think I'll just keep the red out just in case I need it again. Yep, yeah, there's another one. You see what I mean about this? It's not very good. <laughs> I just keep finding. Whoops! Just move the camera slightly. That's better. Um, here. So, how are you doing with all of your Christmas shopping? I've actually pretty much finished mine because I said we don't buy a previous episode. We don't buy a lot of Christmas presents for each other. But Paul gave me a list of CDs he wanted, so I will order some of those. Well, and uh, I've got my mum and dad sorted. Paul's mum's sorted. Uh, my brother will let us know what he wants when he gets back, so he's the only person I've got to think about later on, and that'll be around December the 8th. He's uh, supposed to get back, which is a Friday, which will be nice. <laughs> So I don't envy him his long flight from New Zealand, but uh, that's just me. He won't be. Uh, it won't be long before he's back. So that's good. So I've been not reading very much. I am reading because I've been trying to do non-fiction November, but I have to say I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Um, I've just not been in a reading mood. I have been reading a little bit, but not as much as I do sometimes. I've been colouring a fair bit. I've, um, I think I've done 10 pictures so far this month. I'd be 11 with this one. And like I said, I am trying to finish off, oops, there's a, another rose there. Um, some whips I've had hanging around for a while. So I'm just trying to finish those off as well. Do you know what it's like? You you just stop for some reason. You 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 start doing something, and then you get a new book, and suddenly, ah, oh, you've you've forgotten it. You've left something. I've got one whip that I started a year ago when I first started colouring, and we had Sky Sports at the time, and I'm. Um, Paul used to watch the football. I'm not really. I hate sports. I'm not gonna lie. And Paul would watch the football, and I would sit there and I would colour and listen to an audio book. But since he's got rid of Sky Sports, I haven't bothered. And then I got had one book, and then suddenly the whole colour tube exploded, and I found all these colouring people thanks to Jen at Reading with Pugs. I started buying other books and trying different things and these pictures just never got finished. So other than Hamish, who we are going to finish in during this video, 
regardless of how long it takes I'm just I'm gonna finish them I have decided um, other than that it's been all other things you know I've done I've finished loads and loads of pictures but not those ones <laughs> I'm actually going to try and finish. So I've got to move the book rather than the camera. <laughs> it's quite fun. So this is going to be a field of, of rapeseed. So it's going to be yellow. So I have got to try and finish finish that. Among others, I've got one in autumn scenes, the Creative Haven autumn scenes book. I did just did some work on that one yesterday, so it's not far off. Um, I've still got the half finished picture in the time chamber that I did a colour and chat on months and months ago. I've just never finished it. And I've only got the stars to do. But I wasn't sure how I was going to do them, but now I've actually got some glitter gel pens, I'll use them. Um and then I got something in a fairies book. Um, I've got a page in my Dracula book I want to finish. That's not finished yet. And I think that's really about it. Whether or not I'll finish those pages by December 1st, I don't know. But I am going to try and at least finish the autumn scenes one. And the oldest one, the one that's been hanging around the longest. And then, of course, you'll see them in a completed uh, pages video, which will be um, up the first week in December. I'm still planning on doing Vlogmas, mine, so... Don't you think I'm not? I've forgotten. I have not forgotten Vlogmas. I am looking forward to that. It's just finding. I mean, I live quite a boring life, so it's actually finding things to film every day. Obviously, some days are fine because I've got things planned, like going to the market. I will be visiting with my friend. Going out to lunch with my friend Anne Harrod at some point over the Christmas holidays. So she's a primary school teacher. I'll be going out with pool shopping and for lunch. Picking Chris up and things like that. But generally my day-to-day -day life is pretty dull, especially at the moment when I'm... Because, uh, yeah, but there are things we can do. We'll, we'll find something every day. I want, ch I want a challenge. And then, of course, um, yeah, I've got another book to review from a company called Head of Zeus, who send me lots of books to review for them, which I'm happy to do. The books I probably would never pick up if it wasn't for, for them, so that's always good. It's always good fun. I like this picture. Um, I'll keep an eye on the camera because it'll probably turn off at the 20 minute mark because it, oh, it seems to get a bit warm. <sighs> now the last um, can't catch up I didn't do a recommendation of a YouTube channel to watch so on the first the first one I recommended was Days with Jordan the Lion who is a vlogger based out of Hollywood and he goes to lots of old Hollywood locations and graves and things. He also travels quite a lot. He's off to Belgium soon so he'll be vlogging from Belgium which should be quite interesting. So the, he was my first recommendation. Today I'm going to recommend one of my favourite colour tube channels. I've mentioned it before and that is going to be Grace's Colouring Corner hosted by Grace Fonseca. She's based out of New York and she does lots of flip throughs and lots of different 
sort of colouring chats like we're doing today. Then she has a colouring chat thing. Hauls. And she is absolutely one of my favourite, favourite YouTubers. Colour tubers. Love watching her channels. Her videos on her channel. Um, she also has group on Facebook. Grace's Colouring Corner. I'm trying to get this in the right place so you can see it. It's very difficult because we're on an odd angle. But um, yeah, so... That's it. So she's great. She gets loads of books. Um, and she will flip through pretty much every single one. When she does a haul, she'll actually say, do you want to see a flip through of any of these books? Just let me know and you leave a comment and she'll flip through them. I've bought several books because of her. She is an enabler. There are a few on YouTube and she's definitely one of my enablers. Um, I got Tierna Nolig because I saw it on somebody else's channel. I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I saw it on Grace's channel and she did a flip through and I thought, hang on, yes, I do want this book. So, and that's why I went and got it. So, so she's definitely worth checking out. I will leave a link to her channel below if I remember because I don't think I did with Jordan the Lion so if I remember I'll do Jordan's as well in this one um, but she buys different pencils both budget friendly and the more expensive ones so she'll use she's got Prismas, Polychromos, Colorsofts, um, Erogetons but she'll use all sorts of different things and she's willing to do the challenge so if somebody says oh here's uh, a challenge you can only use this you can have one book and you can only use these three colors go and color something she'll she'll have a good go at it and it's always fun always fun and I do like those sorts of things I'm not brave enough to do a three color challenge myself and she'll always you know if she gets a new set of pencils she'll do a video on them and so we can all see what they're like, which is always good. She's always taking part in all of the colour along. She's a really good member. She's a brilliant member of the community. So I totally would recommend going and checking out Grace's Colouring Corner. Like I said, I'll try and remember to put a link below, but I'm hopeless at doing that. But if you type in Grace's Colouring Corner, you will find her. Believe me, you will find her. So like I said, I'm going to recommend a different YouTube channel every time we do one of these colour and catch-ups. And next time it might be a Marilyn channel, or a Judy Garland channel, or a Hollywood History channel. It might be a colouring channel, a booktube channel, or a photography channel, because I, I do subscribe to a lot of photography uh, channels as well. The photographer in me is a little bit crazy. So, no, the photographer in me just loves photography. So, oops, that broke. That's not good. Let's have my bin. And a different sharpener. I always have this problem with these colour sauce because they're so thick. They're so much bigger, they don't fit in all the sharpness, but uh, there we go. Job done. It's sharp. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's it. Uh, that way. Here we are. So, yeah, I will recommend another YouTuber next time. I'm not sure who it will be. So yeah, I've been doing lots of colouring. I mean, I don't think I'm a, a brilliant colourist. I just colour because, you know, it's fun. It's something to do. It's very relaxing. Yeah, you know, when I don't feel like... I mean, I love making my booktube videos and videos about books. And I will be making some more shortly. But right now, I've been so tired. I really don't feel like putting the makeup on. Um, and doing it and at the moment the room where I normally film my booktube videos is a right mess because 
pools decorate in the baby's room. So some of the stuff that goes in that room has just been dumped into the the book room, the library, as we call it. It's too small to be called a proper library, but I call it the book room. But um, I'm hoping to get in there and sort that out soon once he's finished decorating, which should be tomorrow and then next weekend we'll be able to put all the furniture back where it belongs and the new furniture in and hopefully then I will be able to uh, get that book room sorted out and film in there um, just because I've got proper lights in there and it looks better I can't be bothered to take the lights down and put them in, bring them into this room. I do have a lot of different um, things to sort out in there. I, need to, I also want to do some filming in there. I want to film a entertainment bookshelf tour before I rearrange all the shelves again. Because um, I got so many new books on Marilyn. Believe it or not, I'm all coming. There's another one out next, another couple out next year actually. That I, I need the space, I need to rearrange some of the books. I will also be doing a book unhaul for the, those of you who do booktube, as you, you know, like when we su haul supplies on colouring. Um, we do book hauls on YouTube as well, but we also do unhauls, which is when you get rid of a load of books and you explain why you're getting rid of that particular book. For me it's just because I haven't got the space to store them all and I'm unlikely to read them again. There are certainly some books I will never ever get rid of. For instance, my Terry Pratchett books because I love Terry Pratchett. So I'm just keeping an eye on the time because it's going to turn off, it's going to turn off in about three minutes. <laughs> so. So I was uploading yesterday and because it takes so long to upload and I can't really watch anything on my internet while it's uploading so what I tend to do is, is when I want to watch a video I don't really watch them on my computer, I watch them on my TV but if it's, if I'm uploading it's using up so much of the uh, bandwidth that the videos don't play. So what I tend to do is uh, watch something else. So for instance yesterday I watched some Marilyn videos. I watched a film and a documentary on, on Marilyn instead which was nice. It's not very often I do that. But I thought, oh, I can't be bothered with it trying to load the video when it takes so long. I use that on him. That's the ultramarine. Looking for a dark blue for these little lakey things. So we've only really got the sky and the clouds to do now, so we're doing quite well. I'm also keeping an eye on my battery because I haven't got a huge amount of battery left, but I haven't got a, it's not that bad either. So we're looking for like a sky blue. We've got a cloud, cloud blue. What's this one? Grey green. That's one I just used. Um, Blue. Should I just use blue? I'll just use blue. It's a nice colour. It's a bit darker than the blue we've got on his, on Tiffany's pants. Just to do the sky. So there is something called a cloud blue, but I've also got a grey white, which I'm going to use for the clouds on this one.
But we're nearly there. We're doing quite well. Other than the border. But I'd probably do the borders all in one go when I do the whole book. I can't be doing with the border. It's too fussy. I'd probably get some gel pens to go with that. A gold one and a black one or a silver one and a black one. Something like that. Yes, I know. So yeah, I mean, obviously I love Terry Pratchett and uh, I haven't read any Terry Pratchett this month because I've been reading non-fiction for non-fiction November. Badly, because I've only finished two of the four and I can't see me finishing at least one of the others because it's so massive. Um, I'm trying to read my Stephen King. the month for those of you who know that I'm reading a Stephen King book every month this year I started it last night and this month is a fire starter and it's actually going I'm actually getting through it quite quickly it's it's one of those books is so easy to read Oop, my phone's gone off So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just literally circular motions, trying to fill in the sky. So, we nearly, I mean, it is a big sky. I mean, this, it's, I mean it, we did pick a book with a big expanse of sky, so. For December's first colouring catch up, I'll probably pick something simple from Tin and Olig or maybe from Jade Summer. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do first. Um, I'm bending the page over, unfortunately. Right, excellent. Oh, there's lots of roses on that page. Oh, death on a death on a motorcycle. <laughs> That's why I didn't pick that. Too complicated. So quite happy we did this one because I was worried about doing any colouring in this book because they didn't want to, to ruin it. Because then I could always buy another copy if anything did go wrong. It's not the end of the world. So what am I colouring? Resolutions for 2018. If I get a chance to colour at all after February. <laughs> <laughs> is to um, do one page in every book, at least one page in every book. So, I mean, I have got books where I've done two or three pages, such as John is Christmas, and I've done a few in some of the Selena Fennec books because I love her work. But I've got a huge stack of books, and Hannah Carlson as well, where I haven't done anything for one reason or another but I really want to because I really like the books so I'm going to try and do a page from every book I say I'm going to whether or not I will I won't be buying as many <laughs> at least I hope not well I won't be able to buy as many but that's why I set up the uh, affiliates account so that if if I link a book and somebody buys it, whether it's a reading book or a colouring book or a colouring supply or something photography related, if I buy something from Amazon, I do occasionally, then you can, somebody could go and have a look and, oop, here we are, possibly buy something and of course then I'll get a slight commission it's literally only pennies it really is only pennies but you know it all adds up and then when it reaches a certain amount I'll get um, an Amazon voucher to spend and I will I can use it to buy more colouring books um, or more pencils or more stickers or 
more pastels or pebbles chalks or different sharpeners or some markers because I'm not going to have a lot of money it's free next year I've got to be sensible because I will at some point hit nil pay so I will need to save because I've still got normal bills like running my car my mobile phone contract and normal bills and then while Paul can pay for most of the things I don't want him to have to pay for everything so still keeping an eye on it, it hasn't shut off yet so which is good, we're on 25 minutes we'll finish, we'll finish Hamish today we will like I said I'm not going to do the border, I will do that later when I get some more gel pens because uh, I need to get some more because of the glitter the battery's gone on the camera, I'm just going to change it and I'm back so sorry about that, so I've changed the battery so it should last us now until the end of the of colouring Hamish, at least I hope so so I've got lots of plans for next year for different parts of the channel so I've got um, some photography stuff planned, I've got some obviously books will carry on as normal um, there'll be some more book spotlights for those people who like the spotlights lots of colouring for those who like the colouring I know I've got quite an eclectic set of hobbies, I do a lot of different things um, but that's why it's called Andrew's Attic because that's where a lot of people store their hobbies when they're done with them they get up in the attic uh, I got some Marin and stuff that people want, uh, which will have to wait for a while. Um, for instance, like my plate collection and stuff that's up in the attic, just simply because I, I can't go up there at the moment. Once the baby's here, I should be able to, to do things like, like that. And... Uh, but I will make a, a separate video about my plans for the new year and what sort of things you can expect to see on the channel it won't be that different there will be it will be mostly books of colouring Marilyn stuff like the scrapbook tool because I'm nowhere near finished them we've done quite well um, but I'm pretty sure there's nearly 30 scrapbooks and I'm not even halfway through filming them yet I've only posted full those are ones that I film in advance because I can so. Right, so that's that bit. So we are very nearly end of the sky, apart from the clouds. Woohoo! We are doing quite well. I'm just going to turn the book upside down because it'll be easier for me to do and easier for you guys to see. I hope, anyway. <laughs> I'm just pull it down that way, that's it. Burn that way. That's better. I've just got this little bit in here to finish at the moment. I'm also a lot higher than I normally am. Because I'm not at the table, because at the moment I can't get to the table. Hang on a sec. It won't be a second, you've got a great view of some cables and... There we are. <laughs> I just wanted to finish that little bit my head in just because it's, it's, it's just trying to get into these bits it's so frustrating trying to get in here 
At least the camera didn't shut itself off this time. Which is good. I'll just get in there and do that bit first. I really hate these. Double page spreads. I'm not a girl's best friend, I'm going to say. I think, fortunately, Intian and Olog, Jade Summer, and most of the Christmas books, they're not double page spreads, they're all single pages. Some of them, like the Ruth Sanderson one, is quite complicated. But, not too bad. Oh dear. I mean, I might go over the sky properly again off camera when I can get it closer to me and it'll be easier, but generally we're pretty much done. Just put a bit in there. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be clouds or sun rays. I think it's clouds, so... So I'm slightly off the screen at the moment, but don't worry. All we're doing is gathering this in. I gotta be honest, when we get big expanses like this, I do get really, really bored. I am terrible for it. I do find it very, very boring just colouring in these sort of lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the grey white out. Right. And uh, we'll just do some of that. So I'll show you this is the grey white. Can you can we see that? Are we on? Are we on? Just about, aren't we? So let's put it this way a bit. Right. So, it's literally just a very, very light grey, which you can't even see. I can see it. But you can't really see any difference, so... Yeah, you can't actually tell the difference on that, so I'll do it later. <laughs> Seems a bit odd. I'm going to turn it back this way now so I can actually get it on here. So we've got the little bit of text here about Hamish and Tiffany. Pull this down this way, that's better. So we've done that one, so it's got to be in this one. I can't remember why Hamish is parachuting using Tiffany's pants. I would have to read the book again. It's been a while since I've read it. I think it's from We Free Ben. I'm not sure. It probably is actually. That's when we first meet the Knack McFeagles. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I do get bored just doing these big expanses of, you know, like sky or grass. It's, it's just dull. And it takes so long. It must be so boring for you guys just watching me colour this. So I'm just going to finish off the sky and then I'm going to call this finished because that grey is not showing up at all. But that's all we'll do on camera and then I might do uh, uh, find a different colour and put it in there. But at least we've done a majority of it on camera together. Um, 
what I'll do is I'll also leave a link if I can find a copy of the We Free Men, the book, down below. So if you want to try and find out why Hamish is parachuting using Tiffany's underpants, you may well be able to. You know, all these books are also available from all the all the Pratchett books are available from Amazon, but they're also all available from uh, the Discworld Emporium, which I've left a link to previously. So if you haven't read this one, you can either use the Amazon affiliate link I will leave below or you can just go to the Discworld Emporium site by using the link on the previous videos or, or even just Google it. I use that a lot, just Google it. It's in, um, Wincanton. I couldn't think of where it was based before, but it's in Wincanton. Wincanton is actually twinned with Ankh-Moor Pork. So there you go. Discworld. World and Mirror of Worlds. Oh, nearly there. I actually quite like the white lines. I might even just leave those white lines white because I think they look quite good. So we have nearly finished Hamish. I promised not to pick something so complicated next time. Maybe one th uh, something we can finish in one day. <laughs> possibly two. Here we go. I'm just gonna do a bit more up here. There's one little bit I've missed and that's his inside of his mouth. He does have a, a tongue and I haven't given him a tongue. So we use, it says bright pink. Let's give him bright pink. We can always put some on just, just in here. And then we'll darken it off with a bit of grey lavender. There we go. Shall we have a look? I think we finished him. It's taken us about 40 minutes, so, so we're just going to zoom out. See, look, look, there's my leg. You don't want to see my leg. Hang on. My Mickey Mouse pyjama bottoms. You don't want to see that. Let's just get this in a bit, that's it, and then this way, there we go, and there is Hamish parachuting using Tiffany's underpants from the Wee Free Men. He's, he looks rather good, doesn't he? I will, like I said, I will do the border at some point, I'm just not going to do it right now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, colouring catch-up, I hope you've enjoyed it enjoyed colouring Hamish with me. I never thought we'd finish him but I, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said I get bored with things like Sky so I'm quite happy with that one. I like my fields, I think my fields look quite good. So thank you for joining me on this colouring catch up Hamish. Um, I will be seeing you fairly soon. The next colouring catch up will be in December so we will be starting a Christmas picture. Uh, I'm not sure which, which ones have I got. I've got Tiran and Olog, Johanna's Christmas, Festive Magic by Selena Fennec, Ruth Sanderson's um, Santa's Christmas, Jam Jade Summer Christmas Karen Book, and Escape to Christmas Past by Good Wives and Warriors. So we'll pick something like that if you've got any preference. Leave a comment and we'll see what we can do. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to leave me a comment, share, like, and of course, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for joining me.
See you in, see you in December. Bye.